Animal Contraption Guy with Tom Fox, workshop editor for Boys Quest and Fun for Kids magazines. Presents the series Electricity, mysterious yet useful. Make the amazing electromagnetic aluminum levitator. This incredibly cool contraption is powered by an electromagnet. It can levitate an aluminum ring and power it sky high like a rocket. Here's what you'll need for this project. Power strip, power cord with ground, heavy duty extension cord, number 18 magnet wire, 7 amps low blow fuses, fuse holders and a small hose clamp, pieces of 2x4 wood, 2 foot long iron or steel rod, 2 square pieces of plywood, 2.5 inch number 8 wood screws, 3 and a quarter inch number 6 flathead wood screws, electrical tape, and epoxy. Use the spade bit. Drill a three-quarter inch hole in the center of both four by four pieces of plywood. Next drill two one sixteenth inch holes in one of the four by four squares of plywood about three-quarter inch from an edge. Push the board with the one sixteenth inch holes onto the steel rod until it is located about six and three fourths inches from the end of the rod. Push the other board onto the rod so it is located about two and three fourths inches from the end. Make sure you mix the epoxy resin and the hardener real well. This is one of the tricks to using epoxy. The other trick some use is they use a little bit more uh, hardener and resin although uh, equal parts is usually good enough. Next, cement the two four inch by four inch pieces of plywood to the rod. Use plenty of epoxy on both sides of wood, but don't get used too much so it uh, slops over on the metal. Let the epoxy set for at least an hour if you're using the quick setting epoxy and longer if you're using regular epoxy. Drill a 3 4 inch hole in the center of the foot long 2x4. Drill a 3 8 inch hole 3 and 3 4 inch from one end of the same 2x4. Use two and a half inch wood screws to attach the foot long 2x4 to the two 10 inch long 2x4. Mount the two fuse holders to the foot long 2x4 as shown. As shown in this video, pull the end of the power cord up through the 3 8 inch hole from the bottom. Then with the help of a hobby knife and or wire cutters and pliers, remove about 4 inches of the outer insulation from the cable. Tie the knot in the power cord as I shown here. This is for stress relief. Remove about an inch of insulation from the power cord's three wires. After you remove the outer insulation, it's also a good idea to twist those fine wires together so they'll be easier to solder to the fuse holders. Attach and solder the black and white wires to the fuse terminals.
next tin the end of the green ground wire with solder. This will help when we make the connection uh, to the rod with the hose clamp. In addition to fuses, we take another safeguard by wrapping the steel rod with electrical tape. Before wrapping the magnet wire on the rod between the two pieces of plywood, put the end of the wire through the one of the hole as shown and tape it to the rod. Once you are done wrapping the wire, keep it in place by wrapping it with electrical tape. Cut the wire, leaving about a foot of excess wire length, and thread the wire through the remaining 1 16th inch hole in the wood. Set the rod into the hole drilled in the base. Carefully use a knife to scrape off the enamel insulation from both ends of the magnet wire and then attach one end of the magnet wire to each empty fuse holder. And carefully solder the wires to the fuse holder connections as shown. Attach the green wire to the bottom of the rod with the hose clamp as shown. This wire is the ground and we do this for safety reasons. Insert a 7 amp fuse into each of the two fuse holders. Stay tuned for the next video where you'll see this electromagnetic aluminum levitator in action. In the meantime, check out the Cool Contraption Guide channel for more projects and cool contraptions.